This is Tracy from HalloFameMoms.com and I am doing a Frugal Friday uh, video on um, some things that I got from the dollar store. Um, actually, I have started watching a couple of my nieces um, about 48 hours a week and they are preschoolers so um, and they really like to do crafts so I've, uh, I'm trying to replen replenish some of my craft supplies and I also homeschool my boys so um, we do need things like this um, or we use them from time to time but for these um, for my nieces who are pretty little um, or young of course they they can do th their crafts will be different but um, so today I went to the dollar store and I bought a couple more of these bingo um, ink or ink blotter things um, I, I only have orange and I bought it actually years ago um, and we just haven't been using it, but I got it out for the girls to use and I figure um, I really need to have two so um, th Now I'll have three and they're all in different colors so <clears throat> we can use that for um, just for crafty things And since all this came from the dollar store, of course, it was a dollar each So I stocked up on some kid-friendly scissors. Um, this is not for them. This is just um, all-purpose caulk as I have some um, things around the house that are I might need to use this for so for a buck I went ahead and got this same thing here this huge dustpan which um, I'm going to uh, I think this should help my uh, kids be able to make sure they get <clears throat> they get the uh, stuff off the floor into a pan <clears throat> excuse me and um, the rulers um, I got these even though I have some I have some clear plastic ones but they break easily and when I saw the uh, the dollar store had like a wooden plastic kind that feels good good and sturdy I went ahead and grabbed a pack and um, some magnetic clips for my fridge um, <clears throat> I already opened them and took one out and put it on the fridge and, and I like how it feels like it's strong and I'm um, gonna be good so I'm gonna try those out so but back to what I got for the girls the scissors the um, bingo blotter and some um, play-doh these were this was a dollar each we're going to try it i don't know how good this brand is but i figure for a dollar i'm getting four colors um, it's something that they can reuse and if it dries out sooner than um, regular play-doh it's it's not like i wasted money because they'll be playing with it so then i want to show you real quick this is where i keep most of my miscellaneous uh crafty things that the girls are using and it is a mess obviously now I need to clean it out and I'm, what I think I'm going to do is another video showing how I cleaned it out and see th and these actually stack and they're different sizes and they're tiered and then they are supposed to connect on the side so um, because we drag this out almost every day um, yeah it's just going to be a mess and I need to go through it but along with the frugal theme I'm going to show you what I do I hang on to a lot of things like um, tissue paper you know if you get this in gifts even the gift bags I if they're worth saving I hang on to them and uh, sometimes the tissue paper I hang on to also um, in the past I've bought Valentine cards when they're on clearance and um, for future Valentine's days now my boys are 10 and 12 and we don't do the Valentine parties um, anymore in our homeschool homeschooling <coughs> but <coughs> excuse me um, you know that the kids can cut these up and use them for crafts and um, now it would be the girls who are probably going to do that miscellaneous stickers are good and um, Pat Catan's has books of hundreds of stickers for a dollar I have some of those in, in my other cupboard um, pipe cleaners um, this was a project one of the boys did if you have access to wooden popsicle ice cream s sticks um, Okay, <clears throat> I had oh paper bags. You can make puppets out of those. Um, seasonal things. These are fun. They can glue those fuzzy balls and um, foam stickers on those. Let's see what else I have. Um, I used a scrapbook. I just don't really have time to get it to do that now. So, but I have some scrapbooking things. Um, those are some stickers that kids had. 
I buy a variety of googly eyes. You can get these at the dollar store or places like Pat Catan's. And if you're a homeschooler like me, you can get a discount card for Pat Catan's. I think it gives an extra 10% off. So when I go to Pat Catan's, I use that. Um, and then paper tubes, of course, those are good. These are what my essential oils get mailed in, and they're really sturdy. We've actually made uh, peanut butter, bird seed, or excuse me, yeah, bird slash squirrel feeders out of these. And um, and uh, so I, you can make other things, of course, out of paper tubes. Let's see. Scraps, card scrap, more tissue paper. And... Um, I run a mine. I have a homeschool Minecraft club in my home, and um, we've <coughs> we made a project out of it, um, creating self images and figuring out fractions and the area and the perimeter using um, s the the stuff we used to, to create our picture. I'll show you real quick. Right there's my boys. So um, I can put a link down below to the post I wrote on, uh, I shared on that. Um, so just a bunch of stuff there. So I need to go through this because um, we have almost expired or, you know, we've used, the girls have used a lot of this stuff. So now it might be getting kind of boring. So um, anyway, so we'll be trying some stuff with the ink blotters and the, the um, it's like Play-Doh. It's not Play-Doh brand. And um, other things. Uh, I've got some, um, if you get these peanuts in the mail, you can hang on to those to make things out of. Uh, here's some of the fuzzy balls I was talking about. The fuzzy balls and then feathers. Feathers. And then I have a basket with um, different shaped the scissors that have the different, you know, like the scalloped edges and that. Girl, the girls aren't using those now. I've actually had those left over from my scrapbooking days. Those, I have those in um, a, more glue, bottles of glue in, in a basket. Then um, little candy wrappers. You can glue uh, googly eyes in the middle of these and really make your eyes pop on a craft. I do other things with it. Uh, let's see what else. There's a glue stick, magnets. So, oh, and um, Q-tips. And I actually, I think I actually bought these to put in our STEM cart for homeschooling. STEM is science, technology, uh, what is it? Science, technology, um, engineering, and math. And um, so when we started our homeschool year, we started doing some STEM projects. Uh, the boys were, I had the boys doing that. We've gotten away from that and done some other things for science, but I have things down on in the STEM cards that the girls can use too. Uh, like these, um, I think I got these on clearance at the dollar store. There's some kind of like champagne glasses and you know, the, I figure they can build with them or they can make something. So, oh, and lids, you know, a few of these, like when you go to out to eat at a kid's restaurant, and you get these lids, you know, they get those little plastic kids cups they let you take home. Um, you can put some string through these and make a Christmas tree ornament. Have the kids, you know, maybe you can glue a picture of them in here as a keepsake or just have them glue some things on here to make, to make a craft. And you could write their name and their date on the other side and hang it as a Christmas tree ornament. And they can make something like that every year. Um picture frames this one's been I think my niece my uh, the, the toddler looks like she stuck some things on there pulled them off and put them on something else um, thread spools um, these are just clips that came from our stem cart more glue um, even metal lids from jars. Um, you can make magnets out of these. So you could glue a magnet to the back and then, you know, fill this in with some kind of a craft. Uh, you could just get really creative with it. And then you've got a nice big magnet to put on the fridge. So um, that's it for now. This was another Frugal Friday video just happening 
um, a day late. So I hope that this helps give you some ins inspiration, um, either to clean out your own craft box, which I am going to be doing soon, or just for ideas on refilling your craft box. And um, you know, you can get things very cheap at the dollar store. Um, and then if you are a teacher or a home schooling mom, you can get um, in inquire at the uh, different craft stores for you know if they give reward or discounts you know to homeschoolers and or teacher rewards so you can save money that way too all right that's it for today um i will um do another video if when i clean this thing out and show you what's actually in my box then okay all right you guys have a good weekend bye